Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to cover JPA uh, relationships. So that's covering one-to-many unidirectional and bidirectional relationships and many-to-one relationships. And probably the next video we'll cover the many-to-one, the many-to-many, -many, sorry. So let's get straight into what we've got set up. So we've got our cut entity and we define um, getters and setters into string auto-generated for us, which is using Lombok. We have a primary key and we have our one-to-many Definition, so one cart can belong to many items. So for the time being, let's let's just create a unidirectional relationship. So that means that our cart knows about the item, but our item entity doesn't know about the cart. So here's our item entity. It looks similar to our cart, but it uh, won't know about our cart just yet. So we're going to have a unidirectional relationship between our cart and our item. Uh, so that's one to many. So this what this is going to do is when we run it, it's going to actually create our it's going to create a third table for us, a join table, and that's going to be called cart item um, or cart items because we've got a one to many items. Um, and if we look at our tests, uh, we've got our we'll comment this out for the time being. Um, but what we do is we create our cart, we set our items in our cart, and then we set the cart's items, and then we save it to our in-memory database. So this um, also another thing I should point out is on our cart we've got a cascade type of all which means when we save the cart it's going to cascade and save the item entity as well. So if we just run this we're going to see it creates the three tables for us and it prints the or returns the cart the saved cart and we print it out. So let's have a look at this in a second when it finishes. And there we go. So we've got our cart, we've got our cart items join table, and we've got our item table. And then we see we alter that cart items table down the down further, and we have the foreign keys, the item ID, and the cart ID. So if we, for example, didn't want this join table, what can we do to get rid of that? And that's where the join column annotation comes in. So we can say join column, we can say the name is equal to uh, what do we want this to be. We can say item item ID. And then what that's going to do is we, we run our test now. We're going to see that the join column or the join table doesn't get created. But what does is a join column gets created instead. And we can set that right here. So we jump back to that. We see we have our cart table We've got created an item like before. But what happens is on the item entity we add a foreign key which refers back to that cart. So the the item itself is actually going to be storing an extra field, which is the item ID which refers back to which cart it's in. So in our case, when we gave it an item ID, that's probably not the best name because it's referring back to the cart ID, not the item ID. So we can actually update that here and call this a cart ID. And then that way we'll know based off uh, which we'll, we'll know what what um, cart this item is actually which sorry which item the cart is in. So we scroll back down. We can see we now have our cart ID added to our item entity, and then we have that foreign key which uh, refers back to the cart ID or the cart. Now. This is unidirectional, so cart knows about item, but item doesn't know about the cart. Now let's let's define a bidirectional one-to-many and many-to-one relationship. So one cart can have many items, and then one item or many items can belong to one cart. So if we comment out what we had here before, so we've got many-to-one on the item side, and we've got one-to-many on the cart side. Now this is basically just preventing an infinite loop because when we call two string on the cart, it's going to call the item, which will then call the cart, and then back and forth. So this just essentially breaks that breaks that infinite loop or infinite recursion, and we define our cart entity on here as well. So the JPS specification defines that the owning side of uh, this should be the um, the many to one side. So that means we can define the mapped by on the actual one-to-many side, 
And then um, we say mapped by refers to cart. And then if we run this, we have got an error, and it's probably because of our tests we don't set. So before when we had a unidirectional relationship, we had our cart which set the items, but now we've got a bidirectional relationship. So the item, the cart, the item cart needs to set. The um, the item set is at the cart as well, so that's this bit here. And I think we know what's happening now, rats, is because we also defined a join column here. And the join column is such a good point. So the join column goes on the only side of the relationship, not on the uh, re referencing side. So this side is the only side of the relationship, not this side anymore, since we add the mapped by cart. So if we just comment out that for the time being, this should fix this error. And there we go. So our tables got created, and we see that the item entity has a foreign key added, which is the cart ID, referring back to the cart. So that that means our item itself, our item entity, is owner of this bidirectional many-to-one and one-to-many relationship. So that will do it for the video for today, guys. So that's uh, that's. That's a wrap for this one. So we covered the one-to-many unidirectional and bidirectional relationship, and we covered the many-to-one unidirectional and bidirectional relationships. So in the next one, we're going to cover the many-to-many -many relationship. So see you on the next one.